Raw initially started as just a normal open mic night. It was actually called Express Yourself. Chad, he, he came on board and we discussed, let's take it further, let's build this platform. And there we go, that's how it all started. My role in the Raw team is that I'm the sound engineer and I'm the DJ as well. So I'm basically responsible for all the music and for making all the artists sound amazing on stage. Raw has inspired me to come back every week and to do that show over. It's because the talent and the, the, the fire that our artists give, that inspires me. That is why I'm coming back all the time. The reason why we started the role is because we felt that needed a platform for artists to come and practice their art, you know, and yeah, just polish it and just express themselves. My role in the team is the MC. I'm the resident MC, so I get on stage. I make sure that everybody knows what's happening, audience and the artists and uh, make sure that the show is good. Raw is different in so many ways. Our objective is not to just have a show and have random people come up and perform. We like to set a standard of, of artistry, a standard of talent, also have structure and a platform where we know that the standard of the industry can grow through pushing our artists on our platform as well. What was the reason for starting Raw? Well, technically it was already established, kind of. It was like an open mic run by Keegan Williams called Express Yourself. Obviously, somehow I just have to stumble on the whole concept. One Wednesday I walked in, um, someone invited me, I walked in. Actually, the club owner invited me, I walked in. Um, I love just the vibe, the vibe. I then sat down with the club owner and Keegan, and then we basically talked about how can we actually make this thing work. Um, well, the marketing on Facebook for Raw has been amazing, and I'm signed to a label right now. So they got me in connection with Raw, with Chad, and that's how things happened. How has Raw grown me as a performer? I would definitely say um, I'm more motivated to write original music, to do my own thing. You know, there's so many artists with uh, different types of styles come together. So it really motivates me as an artist as well to be original. Within the Raw team itself, my, my role is stage management. I make sure the venue is set up. I make sure the sound guys come through to set the sound according to our lineup. You know, all the, all the smaller details within the venue and liaising with the, the, the artists themselves in terms of what they need on stage and what they need to provide me with it's basically my role in Raw. Some of our biggest challenges as Raw is that when we have a brand new artist on stage, they don't understand what they're really doing. Mm. So that is why Raw as an open mic, we give those artists the, the information and the understanding of what to do and what not to do on stage. I love Raw because it's that moment where a brand new artist comes on stage and they blow the audience away. It's an open mic night. No one has heard this person before. That is why I love it. My first few times were very rusty. I think I needed a glass of wine or two for my first performances. But I just feel more confident and I'm more open to writing for the audience and not for myself. So it's definitely given me a boost. And it's it's kind of opened my mind to like other poets in their style. So I try to see how I can change my style to make it more appealing to the audience here. Yeah. It always inspired me in, I think, in a few ways, but to think about, like, off the cuff now, it inspired me in my craft because it, it's, it's given me also a platform to get on stage, like, every week, you know, so just keep going at it and keep polishing what I do, you know, and keep getting better what I do. Also, I'm inspired by the artists that come through, you know, as being on our stage, and the different kind of artists, you know, singers, beatboxers, dancers, rappers, those kind of things, so the levels and just the different kind of people, you know, mm. and the different stories that they have to tell through their art. Has Raw given me exposure? People with the likes of Craig David, officially Mo tonight, um, Gavin Cavender has been over here, Janice, all those lovely people has been over here. And those people seeing what you're capable of as an artist as well definitely grows you as a person and an artist. Next in the pipeline for Raw is creation. Creation is a membership program which we've collaborated with another two people for called um, Dynamic Living. So Raw and Dynamic Living has come together and together we design a program called Creation which is going to tackle the issues that we are currently facing as artists in terms of financial growth and also building a brand. So that's the main thing I'll be focusing on and that's going to be next, Creation. Overall, I think it's just to, to, to build our platform to the point where we have raised the standard in the industry where artists 
are coming off our platform, better artists, they can go into the industry knowing what to do, being better performers in general. Raw's number one goal is to definitely be bigger than what it is at the moment. So we are definitely gonna go to different cities. We're gonna go all over South Africa. We are going international. And I can tell you now that we won't leave our artists behind.